What's going on? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I got a, a tip trick video on how to remove dog hair. So right here in front of me I have basically it's a dog brush that you use to remove loose hair from a dog. Turns out you can use this on your interior of your car and make it super simple to remove dog hair. All you basically need is this tool and a great vacuum and you can remove 95% of the dog hair super easy, super fast. There's other stuff you can use, but this right here is a $10 dog brush and bang for buck, this is some of the this is probably the best tool I've found so far to remove dog hair. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to use it, little tips and tricks on how to use it, where to place it, and then also tips with the vacuum on how to pick up the dog hair. Alright, okay, let's get started. Oh right, so looking down here, you see the dog hair? This isn't that a lot of dog hair, but we got some right here, here, there. This is some very light dog hair. Um, some of it's brown, some of it's black, because um, it's a mixed dog. Um, and basically, yeah, so we're just going to get all that cleaned up. I just want to give you a nice view of the dog hair before we get started. So here we go. Alright, so I got my brush right here. And let's get started. So basically how you do it is you just want to get the brush going. And I like to work it into one side, one section. So I'll go back and I'll go forward. And I want to bring the hair all to one spot. So right here I'm going to bring it to the corner edge of the seat. That way it doesn't fall into the ground and I don't have to chase a, basically a bigger mess. So just work it all down into one spot and make it easy to collect. So for this, because it's actually a bigger spot, I'm just going to start on this corner um, and basically work this corner. You don't want to go in too big of sections because if I go, so say for example, you go across the seat and get the dog here all the way from over here to here, that'd be a big pain because you're going to be dragging it all the way across. So you want to keep that in mind. So I like to break it up because this is a three person seat, a bench. I want to break it up that passenger seat, the middle seat or the jump seat, and then this. So I'm starting on the driver's side, so I'm just gonna bring all the hair on the driver's side all the way, so like I said earlier, into that corner. And just do that until you get it all into one corner. Right. And that was pretty simple. Again, this process, you're gonna have to do it a few, a few times. It's not gonna just be like once you're done, because trust me, you're gonna find more dog hair as you keep going through. Dog hair is the most annoying thing, but it's gonna take a few tries, but it's worth it. So let me bring you in. All right, so as you can tell, I brought it all down to this corner right here. So I got the rest of the seat all cleaned up on the driver's side, put it all into that pile, and now I'm gonna come back with the vacuum and just suck all that up, get all the hair removed from there, and then you're gonna to want to go back over and look everywhere. And then, if you need to, repeat the process all over again until you're satisfied with the dog hair being gone. So let's get to vacuuming. Alright, so I got my vacuum. Get it turned on. And about, basically just get all that hair out. It's that simple and because you loosened up the dog hair you, you can even go over the whole seat that you've just done and a lot of the dog hair will be all loosened up so that'll be one of the advantages of having the vacuum after you do you remove the dog hair from the section is you can go back over even the outer edges because usually a lot of this dog hair is loosened up even if it's still there it's loosened and the vacuum will just pick it right up so it's super easy I love this brush for 10 bucks. You can't beat it. I mean, I've, I used to use rubber gloves, but that just took way too much time. And this brush, it's only $10. You can use it so many times, so it's perfect. But do keep in mind, these do actually eventually wear out, like this one. If you can tell, see how the top is longer than the middle side right here? It's because it's been worn out over time. But hey it's like a year and a half old now so it's got a lot of use so 
If you found these tips helpful, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and you guys are awesome. Thanks again. Have a great day. Bye.